Overseer office construction complete. Woohoo! These are my new digs, man. Check this out. I like it. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to start off by um, taking care of our fleet. And uh, then I think what I want to do is um, I want to work on some of the side quests that we have. Um, I want to do deems of the, uh, deems, Dreams of the Deep. I want to do the, the settlement uh, storyline and, you know, just kind of work some of those side quests for a little bit. Excuse me. And, um, you know, but ultimately we will start working towards uh, continuing towards the center of the galaxy. Uh, which is kind of where we're at with the main storyline. So, so basically, both of these primary missions. Um, uh, well, this one here, you know, it says progress towards the, the galactic center. This one says to reset the simulation, but it just kind of says just now go and play the game for a while, you know, kind of thing. So, I think that's what we will do um, with these other uh, s side missions or yeah, secondary missions that we have. All right, but first, let's go ahead and do our fleet and see what's uh, uh, what's what. I guess we have to do that up here. Uh, also, want to make an announcement to everybody too. I am um, actually off work for a few days. I'm uh, taking a, some vacation days, and I am I'm working on getting my house uh, ready for my my dad to come and live with us, uh, my wife and I, for a few months uh, or longer. And so um, this will probably maybe be the last uh, No Man's Sky video I'll get out um, to you guys un until uh, around uh, the 27th, which is when I go back to work, and then uh, we'll, we'll get back to it after that. Um, I might be able to get another one out between now and then. It's just that I, I, I can't spend that entire time, you know, doing gaming like I normally would do. Um because I have, to, I have to take care of those other things. So this, so if you don't see any more No Man's Sky videos for a week um, after I get this one out, and by the way, today is April the 20th, that, that's why, and then we'll just resume uh, when I am finished with that project. Uh, so I just wanted to let everybody know that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start looking at our fleet here. Let's see what we get.
Okay, so that is uh, where we ended up with uh, the fleet. So let's go send them back out and get them get some more stuff for us. Okay, so for let's do the trade expedition first. And we will assign all of our trader ships to that. Those are all industrial. Here's a merchant vessel here. We only have four merchant vessels, huh? Oh, no. Hold on. Remove these guys for a minute. We want these trade clippers. I was going to say, I thought we had way, uh, more than that. And then this one. Okay, launch expedition. Some At one of these points, I need to um, use uh, some of these modules too. Okay, uh, let's do the industrial next. So make sure... We have our top ships on that. Launch expedition. And then we'll do the discovery. So that's going to be exploration. And then finally we have two balanced ones. Um, this is, yeah, they're both one star, so I don't think it's going to make that much difference. So we'll send, um, whoops, hold on. I hit the wrong button there. We'll send our interstellar battleship, the Corvette, an exploration, an industrial, and a trade. And then same thing for here. A Corvette, a Corvette, a, an industrial, a trade, and... Uh, I guess we'll set another combat. Okay, that gets the fleet out. Awesome. Fantastic. Wait, awaiting their next cryo sleep? Okay. All right, so let's see here. If we go to... Oh, I, got, I guess I need to put a few things away um, from what the guys got uh, brought back. Um, so, yeah, let me let me get all the stuff put away and then we'll proceed. Okay, we got some stuff to sell here. Let's um, take a look at that first. Um, we'll sell these. I'm just gonna sell all the albumin pearls. That's down by 0.3%, so we'll sell it. That's down by 0.3.3. We're gonna sell it anyways. Pyrite grease, we don't get that much for it. Alien skulls, precious treasures, the re lattice arc crystals are down quite a bit, but again, not big money there, so I think I'd just rather sell it and not worry too much about it. And we have we have almost a half a billion credits anyway, so we're doing pretty good on money. That is for sure. Um, I was also going to put to, to, to these uh, sack venoms in here for now. Okay. Uh, one thing I forgot, and I think I may have mentioned this in the last episode, uh, was that we want to, or I want to, oh, we got some stuff here. Let's look at this really quick. Um, I want to get our freighter modules back in place, so we're going to actually work on that next. So let me get all this stuff moved back over first, and then we will do that. Okay, so what's this? That is 39 heat, 12 damage. Yeah, I think that's actually quite a bit of a nicer upgrade here for our phase beam. So 
17 damage, 13 damage. So yeah, we'll melt this one down. And yeah, okay, good. Yeah, it was a decent upgrade. Um, let's go over here. Gotta pull that stuff out of the starship. Okay, what's this? That is a pulse drive. It's 11 fuel efficiency and four boosts. Yeah, probably not as good as what we currently have, or maybe as good, but not any better. So we're just gonna melt it. Okay, let's take a look at our freighter. And um, we'll refuel that. And then we want, what's this thing you do? Interstellar scanner, long range sensor. Okay, the freighter's galactic scale sensors. All right, that does the, that's basically the economy scanner and the conflict scanner in one. Um, so let's put that back. Okay. And then um, I think everything else is just going to be getting our our warp drives back. Uh, so let's move you somewhere else for the moment. Maybe right there. I'm going to put the hyperdrive in that slot for the moment. And then... This is the warp core resonator for 200 light year range. We're going to need four antimatter housing to make that. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, and then let's make the chromatic warp shielding thingy. So we need a warp hypercore and two solar mirrors. Two of those and the warp hyper core. Uh oh, do I not know how to make that? I just I just put it in the Oh yeah, I know how to make it. We just need antimatter. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now we should be able to Oh, we need two quantum computers. Gotcha. Okay. And what's that missing? That's missing more antimatter. Okay, let's make... Oh, I keep... Darn it, I keep hitting the wrong freaking button there. Let's make... I don't know, five of these. Okay. And then... Two of those. And now we can make the amplified warp shielding. Okay, and then next is the temporal. Uh, we should make sure we make this one first, because this one's actually the most important. Then we'll make the other one if we can as well. Now, the reason I'm making the green and, and red drives is because they give you extra range in addition to being able to go to those star systems, even though this one allows us to go to all three of the colored systems. All right, so we need two magnetic ray resonators and one warp hypercore. There's our warp hypercore and two of those. And now we can make this. Very good. And then the last and final one is this one. And we need one more warp hypercore. Excellent. Okay, so we got all of our uh, warp capability back. Um, we have now a hyperdrive range of 808 light years and we can go to any type of star system. That's fantastic. Okay, so any other tech that we could put in our freighter? Um, 
Let's go look at this again for a second. So we still need to learn this, which takes eight salvage frigate modules uh, and allows us to go another 300 light years. And then this one allows us to go to another 800 light years. And it costs 12 salvaged frigate modules. Okay, I don't think we have that many because we used a bunch of them, or some of them anyways, when we were redoing the ship. Yeah, I only have three, so we're definitely going to need to be going after those. The easiest way I have found to get those is to pirate. Um, so at some point I'll probably do some more pirating uh, to get a hold of more of that stuff. Excellent. Okay, so that takes care of getting the freighter back more or less the way uh, where it was before we traded out and lost all that stuff. So, what that means now is we want to um, start working on more of this stuff. So, why don't we... Not in Polo Seek Directed. I think this is... Isn't this like a, one of the multiplayer thingies? Whoops. Wrong button. Um... Is there a way to remove this? I don't think I actually care about this one so much. I don't know how to get it out of the menu. Yeah, that's more one, another one of those scan the animals and kill or skill kill kill scan whatever the animals. What if I just hit delete? No, nope. is there any way to get these off the menu, guys, or are they just? Oh, stop it! Uh, stuck there. Okay, learn an industrial unit. Industrial units include the electromagnetic generator, the mineral and gas extractors. Find the correct sites. So that just wants us to find sites, which we kind of should be doing anyways if we want to, you know, set up a nice mineral farm at some point. Um, visit remote archive terminal. The base computer is located in an off-world archive. Okay, so we were working on that. If we if we keep going down this path, we'll it, it'll unlock some more blueprints for us. Um, planet in stress. This is the one that we need to do the settlement mission, which will then also open up the... Well, not open up, but it'll get us a free Minotaur. I could still get it just with salvage data, too, but I'd kind of like to to go through that anyway. Um, oh, wait. No, that's Settlers. Well, what's this, then? A planet in distress. They urge any nearby ships to assist them against a sentinel incursion. Distress. Okay. I'm not sure what that is, but this is the actual one that does the settlement. And this is the Overseer quest. Entirely safe payload. Valuables sought. Uh, I don't even remember where that one came from. Coal, more kill creatures. Let's destroy sentinels. Okay. So, why don't we... Why don't we start the settlers? Because I want to get that going, and then we'll probably go try deems of uh, deems. I did that again, didn't I? <laughs> Dreams of the deep, and maybe some of these other smaller ones at some point too. I'm not necessarily wanting to do every single one of those, uh, but I do want to do Dreams of the Deep and the settlers for sure. So let's go ahead and get started on the settlers. So that means if we go to our warp. Uh, nope. Wrong thing. Go here. And the destination for our current mission is Devixi Rica. Uh, is that where we are? No, it's this system because it shows the the thingy there. Okay, so let's go there. I 
think this is the first time we've warped in our new capital vessel. Well, it is because I didn't have the warp drive set up until now. Okay. Data injection sequence received, source unknown. What? Did we just get a, a free glyph? Okay, visit settlement hub, something or other down on that planet. Um, I think this is on our home planet too, isn't it? Okay, hold on a sec. Um, let, let's just go get in our starship. I don't want to warp to the wrong place, because then we'll have to backtrack. Become Settlement Overseer. Oh, no, this is on a different planet. Okay, what kind of planet is this? Undiscovered? Oh. For some reason, I thought that quest was going to start us back um, in our our home system where we have our, our base on the red planet. All right. Well, the reason I'm docking again, oh, I guess we have a ship that we need to sell, is uh, so I can scan this system, because apparently we haven't scanned it yet. And, and if we do it from the capital vessel, we can scan everything all at once. Much easier. Let's go do that first. Okay, so we've got a high energy planet, a temperate planet, and a desolate planet. Uh, the temperate planet has aggressive sentinels, though, so that's not really going to be a potential place for us to go. All right, so the settlement is on a an irradiated planet. That kind of sucks, but it's not like we have to spend a lot of time there, though, I don't think. Let's just go check it out and see what the deal is. I think what we're going to have to do is is fight to start this process. We've got to fight with some sentinels and then some pirates or something like that. Outpost status is vulnerable. Nice tunes, man. Become the overseer and help grow the settlement, make decisions about buildings and research, assist citizens and help solve their disputes, collect the valuable products the settlement produces. Okay. Let's do it. Um, so do we have to talk to a specific person? Individual? Hey, look at that, they got a high lift. How funny is that, man? That looks like a normal Earth 21st century high lift. Um, I think we're supposed to talk to somebody. Uh, yeah, over here. Planetary specialist Sima, Sima, Simami? Simeo, Simeomi. Yeah, okay. Gra, Gra, interloper, you are something or other. Settlement must be the source of the distress signal. Ask about the distress signal. Before I can speak, I hear the wail of a siren. Hostile buzz. Sentinels have arrived. Let's blow them up. Oh, these are the harder to kill ones, right? Like the corrupted sentinels or something like that. Yeah, they are a little harder to kill, aren't they? Wait, what am I doing? There, we killed one. There, let's get this. Get some shielding back. And these guys are a lot harder to kill. Eh? 
Dang. There we go, finally. Okay, let's get our shields back. Seems like the shotgun works best on him. Everybody else is just walking around, having a normal day. Are they, are these guys like immune to the pulse spitter? Because it doesn't seem like the pulse spitter did a damn thing to them, but this is like kicking the shit out of them reasonably well. Atlantidenium? I don't even know what that means. Okay, now we have to fight pirates, I think. Is it, isn't there going to be like another, like, air attack? Return to the mission agent. Oh, that was for the task to kill the sentinels. Gotcha. Okay. Um, all right. Now what do we do? Is there, do we go talk to that guy again? Where is he at? To him? Going to a small dwelling. Um, I don't see... Okay, hold on. Let's look at this. Log. We are doing the settlers. Investigate the planetary settlement. Investigate the distress settlement at the planetary settlement. This settles with the problems. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, this guy. I didn't... The game unselects your current quest. It's very irritating, and then you're like, going, where the hell am I supposed to go next? Yeah, let's talk to this guy now. Gra interloper or something or other. The Viking salutes, uh, salutes. Please to see another join their fight against the Sentinels. But it is clear they are tired, worn down for the fight. If no one helps them, I fear their settlement will not last much longer. Except for thanks. Perhaps I could assist these settlers. The overseer position appears to be newly vacant. Okay. Um... Mm, over here. Settlement hub interface. Accessing planetary settlement interface. Access granted. Current overseer status. Missing? Deceased? I don't know. Overseer position presumed vacant. Apply for settlement management. Apply to be overseers. Um, okay, so we have 28 citizens. They're 21% happy. They're not making us very much money. That's how uh, they got more going out than coming in. 11% sent sentinel alert level. Uh, they have hyp or hypno drones. What the heck is that? Highly radioactive, gravitational anomalies, occasionally population loss. That's not good. Targeted by thieves and leaking pipes. Sure, let's just take it. Because why not? Settlement management request granted. Okay, now what do we do? Um, planetary settlements. Assist the local population. You will make key decisions, direct construction abilities, and resolve disputes. Well managed settlement will produce plenty of materials. The overseer can uh, claim the surplus resources. However, if it's not productive, it goes into debt. Settlements will periodically attract the attention of sentinel forces. Check the current sentinel alert level from the settlement management interface. The overseer may have to defend the settlement against. Sentinel attacks. I don't mind doing that, but they could help, you know. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, so. Um, so, do we open this thing up again? Okay, so they probably won't get attacked for a little while because they're only 11%. This is called Udvarma's Blight. No, it's not. This is called OG's Village. There you go. This is OG's village now. Okay. Alright, so what do I do? Um... Do I just go talk to citizens? Apparently not. Okay. Maybe we go inside of... Oh, okay, here we go. I see a thingy over here. I've never done this before, and I've never seen anybody else do it before, so... Yeah, this is all new to me. Construction terminal. 
We need uh, 210 silicate powder. Okay. Let's go get some silica powder. 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 Let's reload this so it's all loaded up. Cannot mine within settlement limits. Oh. Okay. Um, how do I know where the limits are? Let's go out this way. Oh, it's probably this whole flat area is my guess. Okay. That looks like a big giant rat. Can we mine here? Nope. Hello, mantis looking creature. For half a million credits. What about you? We've already scanned you? Apparently, we have. Oh, there's something down here. So probably this whole thingy right here is part of the settlement. This is an interesting looking whatever. It's a plant of some sort. Carbon. Bugger off, Sentinel. A uranium deposit? What? Oh, it was saying off in the distance there's a uranium deposit. I thought it was saying this stone was, and I'm like going, what are you talking about? That's no uranium deposit. We're probably going to be spending a little bit of time on this planet, so we might as well scan all the stuff. Get a little extra bank here. Did we scan those? Uh -uh. And then these here. These little thingamadoodles. Look at that big old whatever it is. Looks like there might be a cave down here. A sort of cave? Well, no, it's a cave. It is a bona fide no man's sky cave. Still within the settlement limits. My goodness. Let's get way the heck out here. I want this. Big old dihydrogen crystal. We scanned you. There's something over there we haven't scanned. No, that's not it. Is it further over this way? I saw a red dot somewhere over this way. There. That's it right there. Whoops.
Weird, man. What about you? Did we scan you? Yeah, we did. Okay, how far the heck do, away do I have to go to get sand? There we go. Finally. So we have to construct the overseer's office. Okay, here we are. Supply materials, 210 silica powder. Is it just doing it? Oh, I guess it is. This must be the office here. It's got little drones building stuff. Go inside somebody's house here. We need to recharge our rad protection here. Okay, almost done. And there it goes. So that's my office then, huh? How do I get inside of it? Metal plating required for the roof. Oh, okay. So we need five metal plating. Bring metal plating to construction. Okay. Supply materials. Another minute and a half. That's kind of cool. Okay. Microprocessor for the final fit out. We need three of them. And another minute and 30 seconds. Overseer office construction complete. Woohoo! These are my new digs, man. Check this out. I like it. That's where we make settlement decisions. It even comes with a teleporter. And a couch. Cool. Okay, let's see what this thing has to say. View construction opportunity, view settlement status. Okay, that's just the same information that we had before. Okay. Whoops. Uh, view construction opportunity. Okay, approve a saloon. 6% happiness but minus 16,580, I guess, credits of productivity. Approved marketplace. That gives us lots of productivity. Citizens have submitted blueprints for the development of both a new dance lounge. What kind of dance lounge? And a marketplace. Data indicates 44% approval rating for the dance lounge, while 43% approve of the marketplace. Resolution required. Begin construction of which building? Well, um, I don't like the idea that we're losing that much productivity. That doesn't mean we won't make one of these later, but first of all, we need a grocery store. Okay. Marketplace construction has begun. Assemble the materials for the marketplace silicate powder. Uh, so, so we have to go get more sand. Now, the thing that sucks about that is we can't get it. We have to go a long ways away to get it. Okay, well, whatever. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. And um, we will probably, uh, what I'll do is I'll go get the silicate powder. I'll get that farmed up. And then we'll start the next episode and continue on and just kind of see how this goes. I, know, I, I believe at some point I can kind of just leave it and let it run and do its thing and then just periodically come back to it. Um, so I'm guessing, you know, we, we build the marketplace and then maybe that's the situation, but we'll, we'll see. 
and we'll keep doing it. I want to do it at least long enough to get the Minotaur, and I don't know if we, you know, how far along we have to go for that to actually happen. Yeah, that's the thing that only thing that sucks. I mean, I know we we could just fly away in the starship. It's not that big a deal, really. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go here again. Uh, just a reminder that um, this will probably be the last No Man's Sky video I'll get out to you guys until um, I'm finished with my vacation, uh, it, my work at home vacation, <laughs> uh, working on the house home vacation, uh, which will be on the 27th, and then shortly thereafter we will resume this series. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. That's a long ways down. Uh, leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll see you all in the very next episode. Bye-bye. Can I dig here? Son of a...